Hi, Dero doers, and welcome to this video on the chart of accounts. The chart of accounts is simply a list of all of the accounts that a business uses to keep their records organized. Accounting software groups these accounts by their type, and while the names might vary slightly from one software to another, they're generally similar. In Odoo, all of our account types are split into different categories depending on which financial report they belong to. Let's look first at the accounts that appear on the balance sheet. Equity accounts represent the financial ownership of a company. So these are used for shareholder accounts and retained earnings. Assets are what the company owns and can be separated into subtypes like bank and cash accounts, current assets like your accounts receivable, and fixed assets like property, equipment, company vehicles, etc. Liabilities are what a company owes. So these are future obligations such as accounts payable, short and long-term loans, etc. And for the profit and loss report, we have our income and expense accounts. Income accounts are where a company keeps track of revenue coming in from their sales. By using multiple income accounts, companies can track their income from different sales channels or different product categories to have a more detailed understanding of their revenue. Similarly, expense accounts are where a company keeps track of their expenses going out whether that's due to external purchases, inventory loss, or internal expenses. Let's take a look at it in our Bloom database. So to start off, we'll open the accounting app and go into configuration and chart of accounts. Now, there are a few things to keep in mind about the chart of accounts. First, the chart of accounts can look a little different depending on which fiscal localization the company uses. That's because the typical chart of accounts in Canada, for example, it's different from a chart of accounts from Belgium, like we see here. However, as databases may use the multi-company feature, it is possible to have multiple charts of accounts in a database, but there can only be one chart of accounts per company. Within each company's chart of accounts, each account must have a unique code and a name, type, and if it allows reconciliation. This option allows you to enable reconciliation of journal items that hit this account with open transactions, such as payments in your bank. We can look at any one of these accounts. We'll take an income account, for example, and use the view option to get into the form view. So here you'll see we have a few additional options. The really important one is this deprecated field. This is basically just archiving, but for an account. Now that we have that done, we can move on to the next topic. This has been your pal Dow. I'll see you in the next one.